The progress that uh, this country is making in the health sector is very impressive. Uh, we have several indicators to say this one. Uh, among others, we are able to achieve uh, many of the Millennium Development Goal indicators before the due date. The common cable disease across the country and uh, uh, currently also the non-common cable diseases are increasing and this was not the case in the previous years. Now this time, like other developing countries, non-communicable diseases are increasing and in some areas even, uh, I can say, at the epidemic level. The number of patients who are now diagnosed to have diabetes mellitus, diagnosed to have hypertension, cardiac disease is really, uh, is really very, very alarming. Like the other developing countries, the human resource for health uh, shortage is uh, still still the challenge for the health sector. We are trying our level best to make a difference in the, um, in the health service by increasing the number of health professionals in terms of number and as well as uh, quality. What's special in Ethiopia is we don't follow only the routines or the practices of, of uh, other countries and uh, we like to exercise innovative programs. It makes a big difference. The international community support in this country makes a big difference uh, in our health service uh, as an implementing partner many who are engaged in this country as um, a donor and uh, uh, sometimes uh, the professionals may be engaged in the health service uh, delivery and as a trainer and as a program implementer and uh, man, in many ways. We're having around 87 public hospitals. At least this time, because the district hospitals number increased significantly, we have more than 400. And the health centers also increased to about 4,000 from about 300. This tells you, well, now becoming accessible. The health service is becoming accessible to the majority of the people. <laughs> What makes a difference is mainly because our policy is on prevention. So we have to focus on prevention. 25 million of our population are in school, primary up to tertiary. If we include the pre-primary school, 37 million of our population is in school. This tells you more than one third of our population are already in school. So we have to work on in this, in this, in this category of the population to see a difference, to have an immediate impact and a long-term impact. We are going to work in the school is to create a generation which is health conscious. That's the, 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 main, the main objective of the school health and nutrition program. We have to have a health conscious generation in the years to come. That's my dream. That's what I like to see probably after 20 years, after 30 years. That's what I like, the generation which is changing, a healthy conscious generation. Healthy conscious generation means healthy generation, meaning healthy people means that's one of the pillars of the development.